Hello, and welcome to this week's Gospel Reflection and Praise and Worship. My name is Rob Maslowski, and today, as we look at this week's Gospels, we are reminded that we as disciples are called to have relentless faith. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast day of St. Paul and St. Peter, two great saints in our church that remind us that having a relentless faith has the power to change the world. And that although that relentless faith may not always mean that we are perfect, there is always good that can be brought about when we have faith in what God is directing us to do. But how do we have that relentless faith? How do we know that we can put all of that faith in Jesus Christ? In this week's readings, we see Jesus continuously prove that he is the Son of God. He has power over creation. He has the power to bring about the abundant life that he promises us. For example, he demonstrates to his his disciples that he has power over creation. When they call out to him, Lord, save us, when they're in the boat during the storm, he calms the storm. And so many of us can be reminded that Jesus has not only the power over the physical storms of our lives, but really, truly the internal and and the interior storms of our lives. Jesus demonstrates that he has power over demons and the power over evil when he drives out the demoniacs. He reminds us that there is power in his name just over evil, that just calling upon his name When we are experiencing evil, when we are experiencing hardship, grace is available to us just in calling upon his presence. Jesus reminds us that he has power over sin, and even when we fail, he has the power to heal us. Jesus heals the paralytic of his sins and then calls upon him to stand and walk. And for each of us, when we feel paralyzed by the sin in our lives, by the evil that that weighs us down, we are reminded that Jesus has power over that. And that through our relentless faith, by stepping forward in faith, Jesus can continue to give us the power to move forward. And through the example of Thomas, we're reminded that even when we have our doubts, even when we're not sure where Jesus is in our lives, or maybe we're not even sure that Jesus is who he claims to be, that Jesus is not afraid to step into our lives and act in that and prove to us that not only is he the son of God, but he cares for each and every one of us deeply. And so this week, I encourage you all to step out of the boat, so to speak. When we look at St. Peter and his example to us as a disciple, St. Peter is by far one of my favorite saints because his example as a disciple gives us so much to learn from, not only in his successes, but also in his failures. Peter's discipleship begins by inviting Jesus into his boat, into his life, beginning a relationship with him. And that's where all of us begin as disciples, with that opportunity to invite Jesus into our boat, to invite him into our life and share an experience with him, to build a relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. And through hardship and through challenge, we give Jesus the opportunity to stand up and calm the storms in our lives. And at a certain point in our life, in our discipleship, Jesus will invite us to step out of the boat in the same way that he called Peter out onto the water. And through that relentless faith, we have the opportunity to step out of the boat and do things greater than we could have ever imagined. And even at times when we might fail, when we might turn against God, Jesus is always calling us back, always calling us to be the person that he created us to be. And so this week, let's let's begin by praying for all of the ways in which God calls us out of the boat. Lord Jesus, we just ask that you give us everything we might need to be your people, your disciples, and to step out of the boat and to act in the ways that you have called us to. Help us to step out of comfort so that we may do the the great things that you have set before us. Help us to remember that through your grace, through your sacraments, we have been given everything we need, all of the tools to build your kingdom. Help us to share our faith with others confidently and relentlessly so that we may invite others into relationship with you. Help us to be relentless disciples. Help us to love relentlessly. Help us to step forth confidently. Let the king of my heart Be the mountain where